Alright, so I'm going to try and keep this as short and sweet as possible. Um, this is MCC Mod Manager, a application that I just developed an hour ago. And it is a mod manager for Halo MCC on PC. So a quick thing to note, this is only for Windows PCs, Windows operating systems, for Halo MCC installs via Steam. Um, that's what I use, that's what I'm testing against. I don't know if it's going to work for anything else. It might, it might not. Um, you guys can try it. But anyways, to install this, you're going to go to the release page of GitHub. I'm going to have a link to this in the description below. I'm also going to have a download on Nexus Mods. Once I get this video uploaded, it will be up there. Um, I recommend downloading from GitHub, though, because it's much faster. They don't throttle you. So come down here to Assets, click this, click OK, download. OK, once you have it downloaded, come to your Downloads folder, take this to where you want. I'm going to put it on my desktop, extract all to a folder, make sure the exe is inside of a folder because it's going to create other folders and config files, um, and this is it. So open up the folder you extracted and you can just run it. Windows is going to tell you that this is an unrecognized app, and that's because I created it. Of course it is. Um, go to more info, and then you can click run anyways. Close that, and here we go. All right, so quick overview. My Mods tab, this is where your mods are going to be listed. Um, I'll be adding some here shortly. Create Mod Pack. This is mostly going to be used by modders. They're going to take their mods that they make and bundle them into Mod Packs. However, if you're an end user and you have a mod that isn't compatible with this tool that you want compatible with it, you can add it to a Mod Pack using this as well. Configuration is important. I will be going over that shortly. And then Backups, this is where all the backups are going to show up for that this mod creates or this tool creates. And if you want to create ones manually, you can do that here. So like I said, configuration is the most important thing. You're actually going to want to do this first. Um, you're going to have default config files. This is where typically Halo is going to be installed, but it might be different for you. Um, in order to change this to the correct directory and make sure that it is correct, um, you're going to go to Steam, right-click, Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files. This opened up my other monitor, but it's going to bring up a window that looks like this. This is your install directory. To make this simple, click this bar up here, copy it, and then just highlight everything and paste. That makes it simple. You can also use this button to browse for the folder. Um, it opens all to default on this, but you just go to your PC um, and find it this way. Steam is right here, and then you just follow that if you know how to get there. So, backups and mod pack directories, those could be left as default. It's just going to create a folder right next to the exe, like right here. Um, this exe is also going to generate this config file. Um, just don't touch that, and you should be good to go. So, really quick, I have a couple of mod packs which are compatible with this that I created already. So I'm going to put them into the mod packs folder. This is where mod packs go. Makes sense. And if I just click refresh, they show up here. So if I open up, let me pull in my backups as well. I have this tool elsewhere. So copy all this into backups. So if you have backups, um, and you re want to restore something, I'm going to restore this main menu file. Uh, restore selected. Selected files have been restored. What I'm going to do is start Halo. And as you can see, the loading screen is the default once it pops up. Never mind. So I suppose it's good that this happened this way. Um, Basically, I backed up the wrong file, so if that happens to you or something else goes wrong with some other bug, then what you can do is you can go to Halo, right-click, go to Properties, Local Files tab, and then you're going to click Verify Integrity of Game Files. So I clicked that already. It's currently downloading. Um, what this is going to do is it's going to check all the files in your Halo install, and then if there's any that aren't correct, that it can't verify, it's going to reinstall those files. So it's basically resetting your game to the default install. 
Okay, so Halo has finished downloading the files it needed to. Um, this is a great backup option if this ever happens to you. But if I go to my library, I can show you that this is a default install. All right, so default loading screen. That is what we will be changing. I'm going to delete all these backups because one of them is wrong. And if you have a mod pack that is already uh, configured with this tool, if I want the bubble shield main menu, which you saw earlier, actually I'll do this one. I hit patch game. Um, and it said that they've been patched the game. One thing to note is with bigger files, if I want to patch Forge World, this application might look like it freezes. So here I can't drag it anywhere. It seems like it's frozen. That's because I haven't added a progress bar yet. Um, I'm going to add one down here. I was having a bug with it earlier and I just wanted to get this out. So by the time you download this, it's probably going to be fixed. But just something to note, if it looks like it's hanging, just give it a minute. It's moving large files back and forth. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and start Halo. All right, so as you can see, this is our mod that we just patched the game. Um, it's just a different menu screen. That's kind of dope. So I can go ahead and close this. And that is as easy as it is to use mod packs. Um, you just choose what it installs and you patch it to the game. If I want to restore from backups, this will actually work correctly now. I'll restore all these files. It says they've been restored. And as you can see, this is the regular menu screen from the original version. So, all right, so let's talk create mod packs. If let's say you're a user who downloads a mod that isn't compatible with this tool, or even if you're a mod maker, this will be more typical that you're making a mod and you want to make it compatible with this tool. Um, you can come here. Basically, you're gonna look, you're gonna see this. If you click the add button, it'll create a new entry like you saw earlier. You can create as many of these as you want to. Um, and then you can delete them here. You can clear all. Um, yeah. I have a mod that I recently downloaded and unpacked, which is pretty dope. Um, and we're going to create a mod pack from it. So typically these mods come with a readme. We're going to open this up and we can see here, um, it says go to steam, right click properties. Like I showed you earlier, local files tab, um, browse local files. So this, um, each of these files in this folder, this is where it can get kind of sometimes confusing depending on how well the readme is made. This is okay, but um, each of these files go into MCC content movies. So to create a mod pack for this, we're going to choose the modded file. We will start with um, Halo Reach background. And we're, this is where we're going to place it, the destination. That is going to be, as it shows in here, MCC content movies. And we're selecting um, Halo Reach background. So double check FMS. This is meant to go right there. And we can create a mod pack here. Um, if we wanted to, we could actually add multiple of these files in. Um, I'm not going to do that right now, but because they don't overlap, we could do that. And I'm going to click Create Mod Pack. So this has been completed. And if we go to My Mods, we can see it here. Close this. A mod pack has been created in this folder right here. And we can patch it. If we open up Reach. If we go to Halo Reach, you can see this is now the Reach background. This is not what a default normally is. Um, and that is, is as easy as it is to create a mod pack. Any and all mod packs should be compatible with this tool. It's literally just copying files back and forth um, and creating backups for you, which I can show you here. Anytime that you create a, you patch the game, if you're overriding a file that doesn't have a backup of, it automatically creates a backup for you. If you'd like to create backups manually, you can do so here. I could back this up and 
Now I have big build tag backed up, um, which I can restore. Um, no item selected, my bad. Delete selected, deleted. And that's how this works. Um, obviously minimize power. That's about it. So one last quick thing to all the developers, the modders out there. Um, this is an open source tool. So if you want to, the source is here, you can download it, open it up in Visual Studio and uh, edit it, add to it, create pull requests for it. I will review them, accept them, that sort of thing. I would love to build upon this tool and make it pretty much the way to install mods on PC in a standardized format. So if you'd like to read more about it, this readme is pretty robust and yeah.